Hi, brothers and sisters. Um, I'm here to share something with y'all that I don't think I've shared yet. <sighs> we really need to come out of most of these churches. Um, a while ago, maybe a year or two, I remember telling my sister about something I felt in my spirit strongly. And it just came to mind. I started thinking. I, I was saying, I said, in the near future, I really think this, feel this, that pastors, preachers, teachers, and churches are going to start teaching their congregation that it's okay to take the mark of the beast and you will still be saved. I didn't know if it was, if I was really that right or anything like that. I just was like feeling that, like that's going to happen soon. So y'all know I went on Facebook today and a brother in Christ, excuse me, posted a video from a pastor, a well-known one. I think his name is John MacArthur. And he was teaching that you can be saved and take the mark of the beast. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. It's happening. Like, wow. Follow God, not man. Read the Bible. See what it says. Question everything they say about scripture. Because I remember when I was telling my sister this, and I'm not sure if John MacArthur said it like this, but I was talking to my sister and I told her, I said, I wonder if they're going to start taking scripture. Because there was this scripture in the Bible that says, um, you know, uh, this is the mark of the beast. It's a chapter 13 of Revelation. And here's the mark. It does not tell you about going to hell. It does not say any of that. It just says it's the mark of the beast. It's the number of his name. It's the number of man, 666. And those who take it, you won't be able to buy and sell without it, you know. And it sounds fine until, uh, until you turn it to the next chapter. And the next chapter says, all those who have taken the mark will, will be damned. They will, I think it says, drink of the, ra the, the, the cup of the wrath of God without mixture. I think you have to go read it. But yeah, clearly states it there. But I say, I wonder if they're going to skip over those. Because a lot of churches do this with uh, matters that aren't even that large. They'll skip over scriptures or ignore scriptures. So it's like, man, they're probably going to do this to deceive most of us. Because the, the scripture says if it be possible, he'll deceive the very elect. So, of course, the deception is going to come towards the church, those who supposedly profess to know Jesus, because Satan wants us all. He's going to try to tempt the non-Christians along with the Christians. <sighs> you know, I was thinking about the scripture. Um... How did I get to the to where I was talking about that? Because, yeah, they had this man that I was watching, and he didn't believe that. He believed that people go to hell as in the grave, and that's it. And he was preaching this to other Christians, and he had a Christian. He has a Christian family, and they was telling him that's not true. And so he believes they're false, and he stopped interacting with his family because he's like, no, if you look up the definition and this, that, and the other, and all these philosophies, whatever, that um, you'll see that hell is just a grave, and God does not put people in in a fryer for eternity and um and i was like how did he get this because he has so many scriptures um to supposedly back this up but it wasn't true and i asked the father to reveal it to me and that's when he sent me to revelation um where it does say that those who have uh taken the mark of the beast and uh, bow down to the mark or not bow down to the mark bow down, down to the beast who is satan the dragon who have worshipped him or worshipped his image um, they will be tossed into the lake of fire and their torment will ascend forever. That's the scripture the Lord sent to me. So just clearly see like, yes, you do. You do burn in the torment for eternity. This is not, no, just the grave. <sighs> and so, uh, yeah. And then after that was shown to me, I went back to like, uh, to the verses with the mark of the beast. And that's when it came to me, like, there's going to be preachers and teachers telling people that you can be saved even with the mark and there are going to be people who fall for it don't be one of them there's so many doctrines coming out here now i've heard sunday worship is the mark of the beast you still can buy and sell without sunday worship that's not true um what else there's others really like you have already taken the mark and don't know it you gonna know it trust me <laughs> satan is gonna make sure you know it because he's he's the one who's going to like there's going to be uh, the, 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 there's two beasts, one beast who had, who's, it's his mark. And then there's another beast who's going to be promoting that mark. 
and he's gonna say to come and take this mark you know it's not no secret mark you accidentally took it go read the bible it's no no secret um i've seen somewhere they're like this uh what was it uh the rfid chips not the mark it's you know it's it's obedience it's like the obedience has something to do with it but this is going to be physical this is going to be a physical mark it's going to manifest in our physical world but yeah that's all i want to say <laughs> be blessed y'all and be watchful stay in the spirit so he can so if our father can alert us don't do that don't don't do that <laughs> or yeah run or, or whatever you know just to be led uh, and guided by him so yeah y'all be blessed bye, -bye.